of movies because the pandemic has dealt quite a major blow to this industry. In fact, even though the cinemas opened up again in July, in the months since September, takings have been under £90 million in cinemas across the entire country. And the biggest grossing film of that time, Free Guy. No, me neither. I haven't heard of it. Um, so what's been going on? Well, actually, when you look at what's been happening pre-pandemic, things weren't that great either, but the tills were ringing to the tune of £128 million or thereabouts. So when you look, compare those data uh, from here and then and back before the pandemic, it is down. It's down on 2019, it's down on 2020, and there are big, big holes to fill. In fact, the whole industry thinks that they've lost about £2 billion when it comes to the pandemic over that time. So there's a lot of money uh, that needs to be made up. So so are people still going to the cinema these days? Well, we managed to catch up with some people who were going in Trowbridge, just outside Bath, and we asked them what they were watching and what brought them into town. I have come back to the cinema two weeks ago. Uh, a friend of mine, we went on a date, which was very nice. Uh, we went to see the Suicide Squad second one, which is really enjoyable. The film that we saw was Candyman, and it was quite nice <laughs> to see things slowly going back yeah. to normal. There was a few people, wasn't there? Yeah, it's quite a lot of people, actually. Yeah. Being back to the cinema, yes, it's, um, it was very enjoyable. It's very accessible, because obviously I have physical limitations, so I'm looking for places that are accessible to me, and I enjoyed the film. When things were closed, it was hard to imagine what it would be like, but it was actually really nice and normal yeah. going back, having that kind of sense of normality of just cinemas being open again. We are film goers, but we haven't been back to the cinema because of A, the COVID, and B, we haven't seen any films advertised that are of interest to us. And that last comment, that last comment there is actually kind of interesting because, you know, we're talking about everybody talking about Jamie. They're, they're going to be on the show a little bit later and we're going to be talking about that. But that's almost exclusively a streaming uh, product that's going straight to Amazon Prime. So there is a lot riding on No Time to Die, probably the most apt movie title for the industry right now. Let's bring in the film critic. And